What is going on everybody? It is the Sage Miles. I am back with another video and today the new One Piece chapter 1047 just released and I have quite a lot of things to say about it but as always make sure you hit that like button, that subscribe button, and the notification bell. I would greatly appreciate it. And without further ado, we're going to get into it. We start the chapter with um, Luffy and Kaido are still fighting um, but we also see that uh, Momonosuke is still trying to put clouds on to help stop Onigashima from falling onto the mainland of Wano. But then we go, we go to the um, a flashback of Momonosuke uh, about to leave his mother. They're, they're going back in time. And I, I, all I gotta say is about Momonosuke is I really, I really, really appreciate the character development of Momonosuke. We first see Momonosuke in Punk Hazard and the person that he has become today is quite crazy. Like I, I genuinely um, have become very attached to Momonosuke and that's something that Oda does a really good job at is introducing characters and just making the, the viewers, the audience gradually become attached to them. Like for instance, there's so many instances, Bon Clay, Ivan Kov, so many characters in this world that are just so lovable and they just go through so much character development that it's 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 insane. It's honestly insane, and that just goes to show that Oda is, you know, really a master at his craft, you know. But anyway, we st uh, we go back to the fight with Luffy, and Luffy literally is Zeus. Luffy literally grabbed lightning out the sky and threw it at Kaido. And all I gotta say about that is. That just goes to show how crazy and creative Oda can be with the uh, Luffy's devil fruit. The um, like it's it's insane. But I mean, as Kaido said, what a ridiculous! That's how ridiculous his power is. He literally throw lightning. So what what is the capacity that Luffy can do? What like what else can he do? So can he just he can just manipulate elements in matter that disappear. So if there's like a fire, like for instance, there's a fire going around under on Onigashima, under the roof. Can Luffy go under the roof and manipulate that fire? Or, or I mean, he is the sun god. He has the Nika Nika fruit. So what's stopping him from grabbing that fire? Can Luffy manipulate water? Because I mean, what's stopping him? He manipulated lightning. What's stopping him from manipulating water? So I would like to talk about the, uh, I'm looking at the, the cover page because One Piece got the, the cover spread for this week of uh, Weekly Shonen Jump. And I'm looking at this. I know like One Piece theorizers always be looking at the cover spreads and just trying to dissect them as much as possible because Oda be, Oda be putting in some, some, some things in there. But uh, I see a lot of people talking about how we see uh, Momonosuke with the Straw Hats. Um, and I honestly believe, I'm gonna be honest, I believe that Momonosuke will be a straw hat before Yamato. I feel like Momonosuke, I feel like he's too young. Still, I mean, even though he is like, he is the age of, he is of age if he was in, like, like, like you understand what I'm saying? Like if he was, um, he told uh, Shinobu to, I think, I, think, I think that's her name, Shinobu to turn him back into the age that he would be now in current time. But I feel like Momonosuke is still a child mentally because we've seen him even, even in his dragon form. He's still, even in his adult dragon form, Momonosuke still acts as if he was a child. So I feel like Momonosuke is not mature enough to be the Shogun of Wano yet. So I feel like him joining Luffy and going out to see with Luffy would be um, a good experience for him. Similar to Odin. Um, Odin going with um, Whitebeard and eventually going with uh, Goldie Roger. So I feel like that's why I think um, Momonosuke will be the next Straw Hat and Yamato will be the Shogun of Wano just until Momonosuke comes back. So yeah, that's my stance on that. We then move on to what I would say would be the most important sections of this chapter where Luffy and Kaido are still fighting, but Kaido is fighting Luffy and he is telling Luffy that 
yes, Lou, you might have this crazy new Delve Fruit, this new Delve Fruit power, this crazy OP power. Delve Fruit powers aren't always the key to winning battles in the new world, especially battles of that level, like Yonko level fights or going against admirals. It's not always about the Devil Fruit ability and Kaido specifically, I guess Kaido has shut down all the Roger Devil Fruit theories, I'm guessing, but you never know on One Piece. But for now, it is confirmed that Goldie Roger had never, had never had a Devil Fruit. He was a pure hockey demon. So all those theories about you know the devil fruit gold roger was the the um the last user of the nika nika fruit or whatever whatever that sounds so crazy nika, nika fruit. anyways but um yeah so you guys like i know there's some people that be downplaying hockey like hockey is underrated everybody has hockey but hockey really is a key factor and a decisive factor in winning fights in the new world so it's 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 really cool to see that like, yeah, like just because you have an OP Devil Fruit, like for instance, Captain Kid is a great example. Captain Kid has a great Devil Fruit. He has a really OP Devil Fruit. But I would say, in my opinion, Kid, Kid, yes, Kid has Congress Hockey, but we never even see, I don't think we've seen Kid use Rio. I don't think we've seen Kid use Advanced Armament Hockey. We never seen, I don't think we've seen Kid, I think we, we've seen Kid use Congress Hockey, but we never seen Kid use Advanced Congress Hockey. So I can, like Kid, I feel like Zoro, Zoro, I feel like in my opinion, I, I, I might sound stupid, but I feel like Zoro is more advanced than Captain Kid, stiff, specifically because we've seen Zoro do higher level hockey feats than Captain Kid, but that's just me. Also, Zoro scarred Kaido, but we ain't gonna get into all that. We ain't gonna get all the, 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 the you know, all that hoopla shit. But it's, it's, it's just crazy to see that, um, that hockey is that shit. Hockey is, hockey is that, like hockey, like above all else, you need to train your hockey before you, you like hockey is number one priority before your devil fruit. Is that what Kaido is trying to say? And then we see Kaido hit Luffy. What I'm guessing is this. Uh, I'm looking at the panel now. It look. It looks like is um his strongest attack yet. Like his strongest version, Death Destroyer Thunder Bagua. I hope I pronounced that right. But yeah, he hit the shit out of Luffy. And it's just, bro. Kaido is a freaking tank, bro. I know. Like, I see all the memes. Like you said, like like. Every every single One Piece chapter where it ends off a of Luffy hitting Kaido with one of his big moves, and everybody's like, "Yo, imagine, yo, Kaido, imagine if Kaido tanks this, and then the next chapter he he tanks it, and then Luffy does the same thing. Imagine if Kaido tanks it. Kaido is a freaking tank, bro. Like I, I I like if you if you say that if you say that Kaido is not Luffy's strongest foe yet, you're smoking. You're smoking. I don't know what you're smoking. It was 420 was two days ago. You're smoking, but. Move, like it's insane, bro. Like if 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 you move on, like Kaido is a freaking beast, bro. And then we see uh the flower capital. There's still it's the the festival is such a bittersweet thing in my opinion. It's just like like the the people literally said the festival is going to end soon, and when the sun rises, we'll be slaves again. And that just goes to show that just this is some really like. People be like, we be getting so caught up in um, the fights on Wano, but there's really, in every One Piece arc, there's always that one, that one specific hard issue that really can, one can relate to in the real world. And it's just, it's so cool how Oda really be bringing us back to like, yo, yeah, this is the reason why we're doing this. This is the reason why we're, why we're going to war here. This is the reason like to stop this, to stop Kaido from, doing this to these people and just putting them on his ass, you know, all, all that stuff. But, um, but yeah, anyway, we move on. We see Otama, um, tell, like, that's so sad. She said, please reach daddy. That, 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 I honestly, I didn't cry, but that really made me emotional. Um, I might say, I might, you might think I like, I'm taking this to a lot, way too seriously, but it's just really, I, I really love this, this series. So it's just crazy to see that, um, that can really make you that emotional and all that. But yeah, we move on and we see Luffy getting just like, just messed up by Kaido. 
and the flower capital is still trying to enjoy themselves before the next day we see orochi is still popping like bro i honestly bro i hate orochi so much bro like I, he doesn't deserve his devil fruit bro like i i think he's one of the i don't know how many mythical zones are there including luffy's now so i think there's like eight or nine i guess mythical zone fruits so uh, he's so trash bro like and like bro just leave bro just die bro i just i hate this dude bro i hate this dude bro and then we see oh bro this dude luffy is in the sky with a big ass armament hockey fist and can we just look at the scale here look at the scale of this fist i think this fist Literally, look at the pole, like, look at this, I'm looking at the panel right now. That fist is literally half of, if half, if not, like, two-thirds of the whole island of Onigashima. That just shows you the scale of how big that nigga fist is. And then the chapter is over. Like, what a chapter. Like, and also, I can just say, Oda, I appreciate you ending every, like, I, I swear, the last four chapters has ended with Luffy like smiling at the end of like each chapter, which is so cool to see, but damn, what a chapter, bro. And that looks like advanced conquerors hockey on that big ass fist, bro. Oh my God. Yo, I don't know, bro. I don't know, bro. That this, this chapter is going to be insane. Next chapter, I think uh, is next chapter on break. I'm finna see right now. Is next chapter on break? Uh, it doesn't say it's on break. I think we might be getting a chapter next week. But what a W chapter, bro. That's all I got to say. And honestly, Mr. Morge might be right. Because Luffy talking about something. He finna destroy the island with that big ass fist. So the raid might fail. And it might fall on the flower capital. So Mr. Morge might be right. And I'm not saying he is right. I'm saying he might be right. But hey, it is what it is though. But... If you like this video or more videos like this video, hit that subscribe button and notification bell. I greatly appreciate it. Hope you guys have a great day, night, afternoon, evening. It doesn't matter. Just have a great day. I've been the Sage Miles. Peace.